Yeah, well, look, we've been growing cotton for 10 years now, and um, and back when we first started, cotton was very new in the Murrumbidgee Valley. The technology which was around then was the old uh, basket pickers with module builders. At the time, that was the best there was. When we looked at file footage from back in the 60s and 70s, that was an enormous advancement from where that industry had come a long way up until that point. We didn't have any data that came out of the harvesting operation other than you know the module counts at that stage every module was tagged you know when they were carted into the gin or they were logged into a log book taken into the gin and then they dealt with that any of the agronomic information was gathered by our agronomist or our farming staff and you know that was compiled at the end of each season and uh, we based our farming decisions for the next year on that historical data which was manually collected. really unique thing about this traceability is that each of these modules is recorded in the field at the latitude and longitude. We can go to the exact spot where that module come from and say what happened here? What, why did it yield poorly? You know things like that are really easily identified once we get this information back. It comes back to us really quickly the GIN does reports on what we call the module count. We know how many modules come from the field, so that's important. We can start planning, you know, how many bales per hectare we've had and, and, and what we'll do with that. And then once the classing data has come, you overlay that and then you find out what your quality and yield's like perfectly. And then you start putting that information together. You get your team together and say, right, oh guys, this field did 12 bales per hectare and there was parts of the field that did 14. And, parts of the field that did six. What went wrong? Who missed the irrigation? Who missed fertilising it? Who missed spraying it? You know, how can we not let this happen again? So, like everyone says, if you can't measure it, you can't fix it. And this is a perfect way to measure our results. Southern Cotton was built in 2012 and we've used HID cotton from the very beginning. There's already a number in that module. Very valuable to us to know everything about that module from the beginning to the end. HID is very important for us in logistics planning. When we get the data from the picker, we know how many modules to expect for that grower. So we know if there's 500 modules, how many lanes he needs to, to plan the module yard and to plan the gin run. The HID data is central for our planning of the module yard and where we put the cotton, central for us planning the production and ginning process over the gin spread, and central to the reporting of the modules received and the modules ginned. The tools that we're using to get the data from the farm to the gin is that HID data and we're grabbing it out of the operations centre of the John Deere website. And those tools are central for us to drag it into the gin and pre-populate our database with everything about that information. The HID cotton data is valuable for the customer. So with the picker data, they know how many rounds they've got out of the paddock. They know what the number sequence is in those rounds. They know they can use that data then to know how many rounds they've got in the in the gin. The data that we're sending back to them of rounds received will give them a list of the module numbers that are in the gin yard. How many modules have been ginned and then out the back end of the gin the reports say what bales came out of those rounds and um, how many bales they got. So the data is used right through the process but valuable to the grower to know where his rounds are. The HID technology's use in the end product is that those finished bales can be traced back to the module. So the data is traceable from dirt to shirt. We can trace the round bale module all the way to the finished product. In an industry where there's a growing thirst for 100% Australian cotton, it's a great marketing tool that we can trace it all the way back to the round and where it was produced sustainably and efficiently in the paddock. But it is critical that, that you have the dealer to support what we're doing on the farms and we rely on that and uh, we think it's going to be you know, a real benefit to us going forward because the way we've been doing it in the past it's been just too hit and miss, we're not measuring anything and this gives us the ability to measure everything.